I'm Sherry Campbell, Senior Warden at Grace Episcopal Church in Alvin. A lot of times we all feel like we're the, the lone paddler out there in our own little boat. So it's nice to know that you have other people in that boat with you. This past year, it's shown me that it's a whole lot more than money. It's relationships with other people, either within your church or within the community. So the term stewardship has certainly expanded well beyond my own little private world. My small church that has had such a hard time in the past few years to grow and make sure that we're financially sound is moving in the right direction. We certainly don't, aren't in the black yet, but we have plans to work toward that, which we've never had before. And I'd like to celebrate that. My name is Jolene Gilmet. I am a member here at Grace Episcopal Church in Alvin. I was really surprised at how little of an effort I put into stewardship, both personally and within my church. Um, I was surprised at how much I enjoyed focusing on stewardship, and I was really surprised at how much I enjoyed having a connection to the diocese through this training. I'm Travis Smith. Uh, I am the rector at Holy Comforter uh, Episcopal Church in Angleton, Texas. Stewardship is, is very important to me. It's a passion of mine. It's how um, I run the things that, uh, that, that go on at the church, how it, it steers everything. Um, and to be able to have partners in that now has uh, been very, very helpful. Uh, the sense of good stewardship is when whatever is being grown uh, becomes bigger than what I imagined and what I can uh, control, um, therefore it is absolutely an indication that God is truly in control and I'm just a piece of it. I celebrate having a role in something bigger than myself. So my name is Carla Singer, and I have been a stewardship coach for the past two years. I've been able to work with two different parishes on their stewardship plans. What I'd like to celebrate is in the success of the stewardship campaigns that, that I've been a part of is it's an opening of new ideas and realizing that there are lots of ways that people learn, lots of ways that people receive information, and that you want to reach out to as many different people, as many different ages as, as you can. Okay, my name is Paul Eby, and uh, I'm a member of Holy Comforter Episcopal Church in Angleton, Texas. Stewardship to me um, should involve uh, cheerfulness and relationship, uh, gratitude, and the sharing of, of who you are, uh, you know, in uh, the manner that you felt, you know, led by the Holy Spirit. We've been fortunate in our church to have started Peace Street Farmer's Market, and um, there's just story after story of, of friendships and relationships being built. It's remarkable because it, it's so, um, uh, unpredictable. So the relationships that, that are made through people gathering together, um, seeing people involved in, in different roles within the church is, has been a plus. And I think that's led to um, more uh, cheerful and intentional giving uh, by people within the church. <laughs> 